Hello, welcome to Winsome Loosemore. My name is Dieter Loosemore, and you join me for a Solo Central, a series where I play through every game in my collection that has a solo mode. Uh, today is another multiplayer game that has a solo option within the rules. Uh, this is sort of a race game, not as in racing to a track, as racing to a finish, uh, and the race is even tighter in a solo mode. Uh, this is uh, New York Zoo by Uwe Rosenberg. He's known for a, a couple of things, other the big box um, worker placement games, but this is the other type. This is the polyomino style game uh, that he's known for. Um, we are building up a zoo. Uh, normally it's first to fill their map wins, but this it's just twice around the track with that elephant, and that's all the time that you have. Let's see how I get on with New York Zoo. It's got the game set up for a solo play, just using the board that is designed for a single player. Each one tells you how many players it's designed for. Uh, this is the one for solo. It's got a few rule reminders across the top. Uh, these are attractions, I'll be able to get those as bonuses later. Um, and the main difference for the solo here, um, you'll get a rough idea of how the game plays as I go through, is twofold. The timing, every time I move the elephant marker, which denotes which action I'm going to take going forwards, um, I can go round twice uh, and then that's it. If I haven't finished before then, I lose. Um, and then the other thing is actually moving the elephant instead of it just being whatever I want because we're on a timing thing, I have to use one of my um, distance markers. I don't know what they're actually called. Um, and so once I've used one, it flips over and I can only get them back once all of them have been used. The only exception to this, if I want to go to an animal acquisition place, any of the blue spots with animals on, um, I can just take that and I've forgotten to do my starting animals which is a meerkat and a flamingo which start in the houses. I've got the rules here as always um, just because I make mistakes. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. So I can start with the zero if I want to but I don't want to because I want to fill them up with something. What have I got? I've got Meerkat. Meerkat's over there. So each spot uh, is either a tile or an acquisition space. These brown ones, these breeding places, are not uh, spaces. And if I've used up all the tiles, they're not spaces either. Why don't we do a one? To go here, take a puzzle piece uh, and pop it anywhere. Let's pop it there. And I have to immediately put animals into it. Let's put the meerkat in to there. Fine, and then um, let's do the zero because I want more of these. Which way around do I want to put it? Because um, I can rotate and flip as much as I like. Let's put it in there. And it has to be the flamingo because I can never just leave an enclosure empty. Now I don't have to spend one of these to do that. I can just move to the nearest one, which is a penguin and a kangaroo. Penguin and a kangaroo, they can live in my houses. Uh, two would put me there, whereas a three, let's do a three to get Oh, again, I wouldn't have to use one to go to... Is that true? Uh, da, 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 da. As an alternative to placing a range marker, you can also move the elephant without a range marker to the next animal acquisition space. So if you want to reach an animal acquisition space, you can, in many cases, decide whether you want to do it with or without a range marker. Cool. So I'm going to do it without. I'm going to go there to gain a meerkat and a kangaroo. Kangaroo's gonna go in the house and the meerkat is immediately gonna join the other meerkat here. Uh, I did pass over a breeding, but it's for the Arctic foxes, which I don't have any of. Now, I want to do two to get rid of it. I didn't have two, but I'm going to get a flamingo and a meerkat. 
I'm wasting a load of time, I'm sure. And let's do one, two, three, four. Let's do a four uh, to get this one. Um, I'm going to place that in there. I'm going to put my two kangaroos in there. And because I crossed over the meerkat line, um, I get if I need to have at least two of the animal and it to trigger it, and I get one. And then because it's, um, oops, sorry, this one, but in the one to three player, anytime a breeding is correctly triggered, so I got a meerkat, I get to trigger another enclosure of my choice. Uh, I'm going to do, do I get the flamingos to nearly do that? Yeah, let's get a flamingo. Cool. Right, and now I have a three left, which would get me a big corner piece there, and would breed flamingos. Or I can take a single step forward to get an arctic fox and a meerkat. Let's spend the three to get everything back. So, one, two, three which breeds flamingos. I'm gonna pop this one here and pop a penguin in it. Oops. Uh, because the flamingos correctly bred. Um, let's do a meerkat in here. Uh, as the bonus and then all of these are used so all of these come back. Righty ho, let's not use any of my markers and get flamingo and penguin because penguin goes in nicely. Uh, I'm not actually going to put this flamingo in just because I'm, I'm afraid I will knock everything over it. We'll go in that little, oh, fine. Uh, oh, good, nice. Because I filled an enclosure, I'm going to triple check as I go, uh, completing enclosure. You immediately score it. Take the animals out of the um, enclosure and return them to the supply, but I can keep one of them in one of my houses. So, oops, I have shifted these off. Kept one for releasing them back into the wild or whatever it might be. Um, and because I completed one, I get to take an attraction. These are these extra ones of varying sizes. Obviously, I'm going to take the biggest one for now because I'm trying to fill my board, is that right? Yeah, that looks right. Four of them there. Because I've nearly completed an entire lap and have very little to show for it. Uh, I don't really want those. But Arctic Fox. Fine, let's go. Let's, oh, interesting. Oh, bums. Let's just jump to there to get the kangaroo and the arctic fox. Kangaroo joins his friends in the kangaroo pen. Arctic fox is coming in here. Uh, let's use the zero to do that again because I'm about to breed kangaroos. Um, there you go there. Okay, let's use the one to get a new tile. Do I want to do, no, that seems silly. Oops, over there. Um, it's not a great shape. I don't think they have to touch in this game, but I still like to do that. Yes, let's do that. And a flamingo will go and live there. Um, so I can't get this no matter what. That's not bad. Uh, or that would be the three. Oh, that would be four. Let's just jump. Get a penguin and a meerkat. Because that fills my meerkats. And I'm gonna breed 
kangaroos. So that one goes there. So this one's full. I get to send these back. Take an attraction and keep one. This is full. Get to send these there, and I get a bonus breeding, which is going to be these ear penguins. It's not going very well. I mean, that would be the uh, which means I get two attractions. I have to put a one in there if I have any chance of winning, and I want to put this in there if I want to have any chance of winning. Fine. Oh, my legs are getting dead. Fine, let's jump two to take penguin and fox because I'm about to breed penguins to fill up another one. Uh, and fox, and let's go two here to take this nice long one to pop it there. Um, and put what's going to come up next meerkats. Pop a meerkat, meerkat in there. Yep, and I passed over the penguin breeding. So we go through this job again. Um, and a bonus breeding. Let's do the Arctic foxes. Um, What's well, the only one I could have done? And I get to, because I did the penguins, I get to add one of these. Let's just take up as much room as we can. Okay, so that's the first lap done. Three, one. This no longer counts as a space because it's empty. Two, three might be a good one. It's not a great shape though. And four would give me that one. That's okay. That's not bad. Okay, let's use the four. One, two, three, four, which is this one. Um, I'll resolve the foxes in a minute to go here. Why not? Let's pop a, let's pop a penguin. Um, I crossed over the fox breeding, I breed the foxes, which would fill this up. So one goes here, that goes back, oops, stand him up. And let's fill in this little gap. Okay, so I have a three left. But really I want animals. Okay, let me just double check. Yes, that does work, fine. So I'm just gonna do the thing without the thing. You know what I mean? Uh, just move forward without a target. Uh, pop this in here. And then when I add this one, let's pop it there. Uh, as a choice, that's what this means. Uh, when I add in an animal, if I have a matching one in the house, I can add it as well. I think as a one-off thing. Okay, not terrible. I can take one more. Tile one, two, three, that's not bad. Let's do the three to take that, to pop that there, and put the fox in. Um, okay, nothing specific happened. Everything comes back. The only way I can take a tile is if I end up taking animals from elsewhere, which I, which I can do the idea. The object isn't the animals. I keep getting this wrong, but I need to fill the animals to get the things that fill in the weird gaps. Fine, fine, fine. What is this shape? A perfect shape. Okay, zero it is. Uh, I'm gonna take this, pop this here, and I'm gonna take kangaroo, pop it there instead, because uh, I can populate from elsewhere. Actually, this is closer than I've probably ever, I've never won this. <laughs> Probably because I always think about it wrong. I like building up my animals and having fun. I actually never win in multiplayer either, but that's beside the point. Let's go. One, two, three. That would be four. And would allow me to breed. Let's do it with that, just so I can get rid of that. Go jump there. For meerkat and arctic fox. Nice, nice, nice. 
uh, allows me to breed meerkat because I successfully bred meerkats I get a bonus ones let's do the arctic foxes because it's the only one that has two or more in let's pop it there just for my own fiddly fingers you know what I mean um, a space I don't think so I have to get so I can do the one and take an arctic fox but I think it screws what I have left because that would be like that which would leave me a very specific shape which is behind me which I can't get nope right so do I just jump forward and get the penguin and flamingo yep I think I have to that's the penguin and flamingo space excuse my throwing um, that goes there. I passed over the flamingo breeding place. I successfully bred flamingo, which means I get to breed meerkat, which means that one is now full and meerkat goes there. They go away and I get an attraction. I have to do the shape that I'll never be able to fill. And I have a three by three with a little end on it. And I want to breed everything. It's not going well. Do I just... So, if I don't take any more, I've got two opportunities to breed. Um, so I need to save the two to get there, except I can't place it, so I can't use the space. Is it landing on that or crossing it? <laughs> Is that just a semantic way of cheating? Um, to recover the slots of the action strip. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Winning. If you succeed in filling the zoo board completely before you cross up to the starting point. So, I, yeah. So, I don't think I can land on it. Oh, if you only manage to do this by landing exactly on the starting spot, you still win but score zero. Cool. I don't care about points. Oh, it's only one. Up to the starting space, you score one. Oh, for each step before it. So I can win by landing on that, that's okay. That's not terrible. Um, actually, that's the combination I exactly want. So what would fill it? That would need that and that. That would win it. That combination. So if I can fill three somehow, is it possible? Who knows? Let's, oh, sorry. There we go. Let's take a kangaroo and an, what was it, an oaks fox? Yes. We take a kangaroo, we put it in this nice small one, and we take an arctic fox and pop it there. Do I jump forward to get a penguin and a meerkat? Maybe. Or do I? Can I fill three things? I'm two away on the kangaroos. I'm one away on that, and I'm three away on the flamingos. And I'm gonna get a kangaroo and a penguin, guaranteed. So getting something like this, so they give you an extra token, because I'm allowed to just see if anything is of any use, and that just reminds me where it came from. That stops, that becomes two things that I would need to fill. That's not the worst, and that would cost me my one. That's not the worst. Okay, let's do that. Let's do that. Um, so, jumping ahead. So that is the only one that will actually... F oh, bum. So I have to get animals. Though that would automatically do it. One, two, three. So one, two. Oh, I can just win. I don't have to fill anything. Because I'm going to use a two. Wow. 
penguin and what was it, meerkat? Yes. Add the meerkat. Add the penguin. Oh, except, oh no, but I don't have to do that. Uh, which breeds kangaroos. And I get to do an additional one. Uh, do I want to... How do I want to... Oh, I can do this however I want. That's cool. So I'd actually be scoring two points. Um, but not if I complete the Arctic Foxes. So let's take... Which is going to happen... Nope. Let's just take a penguin. Fine. I don't want to fill it. I don't want attractions because I can fill, right? I can fill from my others or do I have to take one from the house first? You have to fill this new enclosure with one to two of your own animals of the same species. You can take these from one to two houses and or from any also different enclosures on your zoo board. Hooray. So I spend my three and I do one, two, three to take this exact piece and I pop it there and I'm going to put an arctic fox in there from another enclosure. And that, friends, is a completely filled up board one, two spaces away. I scored two points in my first ever win of the solo game because I just I just always think about it wrong I like building up the animals I like triggering it that way forgetting you can just move animals around at your whim but that's New York Zoo that's the solo that wow I, I mean you'll watch this and, and see all sorts of mistakes and things but as far as I can tell I actually won something if you succeed in filling the zoo board completely done before crossing the starting space for the second time, done, you win the game. For each action strip, action strip, action strip space, um, up to the starting space you score one point. One, oh, up to and including? No. Oh yeah, yeah, but I'm two away, so it's two points. Cool, I even scored points. Well, there you go, folks. <laughs> uh, New York Zoo, lovely little tile placement game um polyomino star whatever you like to call it perfect look at that i tell you what i think i've never won because i never knew i kept forgetting about the fact that you can just move to one of the blue spots to get animals for free without using one of these and i get lost in the puzzle but that's it thank you very much for watching uh if you found this interesting or entertaining in any way shape or form do consider subscribing to the channel and hitting the bell icon so you stay updated when i put out new things and you know the normal find me on social media i would find just search win some loose more on the usual places it'd be great to connect with you sorry i'm still just chuffed at the fact you actually won something um <laughs> thank you very much for watching i'll be back again soon i've been dita for win some loose more bye